Hi everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. How is everybody? So it is Wednesday, um, pretty late in the evening. I had a few minutes and I definitely wanted to come on and say hello to you all. And tonight I have Frankie. Y'all haven't seen her in a while. Um, Frankie, a.k.a. Francesca. Um, if, uh, to those of you that have been here, uh, would remember that I changed her name, um, from Adelaide. Um, I wound up changing it to Francesca and calling her Frankie, which I absolutely love, love, love. To those of you new, hello and welcome to my channel. So this is Frankie and she is the Eleanor Sculpt by Laura Tuzio Ross and her artist is Myra over at Myra's Little Bugs and she is absolutely amazing. I mean, look at this baby. Um, I have been missing spending time with Frankie, that's for sure. Um, she is just, oh my goodness, you know, I, I really am most, most definitely smitten with this little girl, um, for sure. Um, so first I just wanted to share, I had opened this up and got no further because this was um, just, it was two things that I actually ordered um, from an IG sale and many of you will probably know know um Peter Pan clothing sales um a lot of you now have uh, shopped her sales and I saw how beautifully it was wrapped and I started reading the notes so I said you know what I'm gonna save this to open it um on video um just to give uh give her a little more exposure and reviews I shopped her last sale I was absolutely thrilled um, she is so organized. Um, the clothing that comes is so absolutely meticulous. It's like buying brand new, but at thrift shop prices. I mean, you just can't beat it. Um, she is absolutely amazing. Um, so when I opened the, you know, the uh, mailing bag that it came in, this is how it was presented. You can see her her thank you here that says P um, thank you, and it has some uh, leaves around it, and it says Peter Pan clothing sales. And um, there's an orange ribbon around it, really beautiful. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and open it now. There's a note attached here. Um, and it says, this is from the set you got in the last sale. I am finished with it, so I thought I would pass it on. <laughs> I love Gwen. Oh, Gwen, thank you so much. So let's see. What this is, oh yes, I remember, yes, this goes with the, um, what size, newborn, yes, this goes with the, uh, the whatchamacallit, it's like, it's a Carter's, um, long sleeve, uh, romper, um, that's perfect, thank you so much, Gwen, that was so kind of you to send that along, and I haven't even, uh, used that yet for the winter, I think it's gonna go on, um, Benjamin, which is one of my Twinkies, so that's perfect. I will then now have the little onesie to go with it. Thank you so much. And oh, everything smells just so good. And um, I use the same the um, the downy what is it ir irresistible something the the little. It's the fabric softener, but the little beady fabric softener things. I use the pink and the blue ones, and I put them in like. I store my clo the baby's clothing and I put them in some of my drawers and stuff as well. So I love that. Um, and these are the two things that I ordered. And one, yeah, that's newborn. One is an adorable um, romper for Christmas. Um, it's in a cream color and it has red reindeer all over it and trimmed in red. Um, it's by Tessa Baby. So real cute, uh, cute romper there and what did I say that was again newborn yeah my I am like oh my goodness uh, I'll fill you all you all in on the latest on me in just a few moments but and I ordered this which was is I, th I believe it's a the um tiny baby or first baby size in was it Next or Mother Care? I'm not one one of those UK brands, um, but it's a just a beautiful, um, nice crisp white um, sleeper. Oh, so soft! The material so soft, um, and then it's buttoned down, and the buttons are pink, 
and it has um just on the top uh chest part it's um feels like a little uh bit of uh stitching um embroidery but it's a uh it's a hot air balloon and a little cloud with some stars i think this was really like from like their up up and away um i think i love white on babies and um, I thought it would be a little smaller, um, but that's just fine. It doesn't matter. Actually, it would probably, it'll fit Frankie, actually. Um, so I have a few babies that this will fit. And, lo, look at that. I'm, <laughs> I'm debating now putting that on her. Um, I love white. For, for babies and I like to have white you know pieces in their you know wardrobe it just you know it's just so baby looking and I don't know photographs nice and all that so the outfit that I did have to put on um Frankie which I'll, I'll probably put it on um very different from the white sleeper um but since she is in this lovely very fancy pink sleeper that I have put on her last time and I have not taken it off her because it's just I mean look at her in it um so I have this um fleece one piece um long sleeve uh romper it's a you gotta eat do a few more bites of that buddy three okay three all right let me, excuse me, just a minute, ladies. I just want to close this so the cats don't come in. Um, so it's a fleece romper, a uh, long sleeve romper, and it's a hoodie. It has a hood, and it's in a hot pink, and it has um, white polka dots on it, and it has a gray elephant. You can feel the elephant kind of puffed up, and um, the elephant has a little turquoise blue bow on its ear um so super fun super cute and very pretty color for Frankie the hot pink with her dark skin and her green eyes and her chocolate brown hair um really cute I have little hot pink socks that have white um polka dots on them so they match and these don't really match but I just want to try them on her um they're little um knit um, they're not quite booties. Um, they're almost like knit, like they look like little girls dress shoes, like with the strap and the, the button over the top and their baby gap. Um, I have other outfits that this for her that this will go with, but I just wanted to, I mean, I guess it will go, but I wanted to try them on to, to see if they will fit. Oh, okay. What's wrong, honey? Gabe I don't hear her so I'm sure she because if I cut this video then I have to stitch it together I'll be done in a uh, it'll be a couple minutes okay and daddy will be two seconds because I know he was right behind us oh my goodness I am sorry ladies um, I I know most of you all would just like stop and edit or whatever but I have a problem if I do that on my phone then I have to put it over to Kinmaster and um it it's a big to do for me um if i have to stop it and stitch it together um so and i obviously don't want to refilm because i opened that you're good now gabe okay can you give me Wait, five can minute, can minutes you, can daddy should be in the driveway he was literally behind Wait, me can you please gabriel the yes please please on the bed on the table uh this was a bad time to attempt. I thought I had a few minutes. My husband was literally. No, I Gabe, I'm sorry. I'm not going out to the car. You have a whole bag on the table. So ladies, anyways. Um <laughs> I I can't even think straight. I'm sorry. My husband is, let's say, yep, in the driveway. So, isn't that lovely? So, he'll walk in in a second and deal with that. I am, I, you know, I thought I had a couple minutes. I thought he was, like, right behind me in the door. Um, But regardless, he is, um, he is right there for Gabe. So, um, 
I didn't want you all to think I was like, you know, totally ignoring my child. Well, I'm kind of ignoring him, but <laughs> his dad is down there. Anyways, oh my gosh, you know, really, seriously. Um, but, you know, I, I have very little time to film lately. I've put very few videos out there lately. And um, I really wanted to, you know, say hello to you all and um, share Frankie. So um, I really would love to just cut all that out, but it's never going to go up if I have to do that. So, all right, let's start getting Frankie changed. And um, yeah, welcome to some of my life. Dun, 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 dun. So, oh my goodness, she is just so absolutely, absolutely stunning. Um, I just, you know, when I, when I'm not looking at her for a few days and then I see her, like, I, I'm like, oh, wow, you are just, oh, she really is just so amazing. I, you know, I mean, Myra is an amazing, amazing artist. Um, she knows it on all of her babies and I just love the way that she does um the AA skin tone on um babies you know she really uh I mean she is so mottled and you know she's and with those green eyes and her, this hair is just um I it, come to think of it I think out of every baby that I've had in and out of here and all the babies that I have, this is the softest hair that I have felt. I am not sure what, what type it is, but whatever it is, this, and it's that chocolate brown color. It is just absolutely amazing. And, uh, yeah, Myra, <laughs> Myra was on fire when she created Frankie. Um, the rooting is just, you know, I noticed that, you know, when I opened her, I was just like, oh, wow, it's like growing out of her head. And not that, I mean, all of my babies are, are of course, rooted very well, but you all know what I'm saying. I just, you know, she's special. Some of them, you know, you just will say, you know, they're special and she is really special. Um, I, I love holding her. She holds really, really well. Um, and of course she's got that look on her face, like she's man, you do the list, like, you know, don't screw with me, but hey, <laughs> she fits my personality, huh? So let's get these sockies on these feeties. Yes, let's get these sockies on the feeties. The only thing I don't care for on this sculpt is the way that the legs turn out like this so easily. Um, I mean, I love froggy legs, but they look like so flat so easily. Um, uh, I think quite a few of um, Laura Tuzio's Ross's sculpts are like that. I mean, it's just her style of sculpting. Look at the roll down here on the leg. It, I mean, you know, I'm not picking at the sculpt by any means. Um, I mean, look at this. Look at look at the roll. I mean, they're so realistic. Um, it's an absolutely amazing sculpt. Um, I was just pointing out that it's just funny looking when the legs go like that. Anyway, um, that's what we do as collectors. We say what we do and we don't like about sculpts and art and all that. Or at least that's what I do. I can't speak for everyone else. But... I can speak for myself. So speaking of myself, um, you all know that I am seeing the neurosurgeon on the 29th it is, um, and that he squeezed me in because my spinal cord is being crushed and the amount of pain that I'm in. Um, tonight it is not as bad as many nights, uh, praise God. <laughs> um, and I, I, let me stop right there and say that, um, you know, for all the, um, videos that I have recently, um, put out and that I've talked about this, um, all of everyone's comments of all of your love, support, and prayers means so much to me, ladies. I, I can't even tell you. I try to um, respond to as many comments as I can. Of course, I read them all. I acknowledge them all. Um, 
and uh, it, just reading everything that everyone has been writing to me is just, it's very uplifting um, and it's just very comforting to know, oh, this is tight. It's very comforting to know that, um, that so many of you are praying for me. I believe in the power of prayer and I appreciate that you're taking your time, um, not only of course to watch my videos, but to, you know, to pray for me. I really, truly, truly um, appreciate that. Um, so the update that I have is this romper is quite snug. She is truly in between a newborn and zero to three month size. Um, probably really better off putting her in a zero to three month size because I like things a little bit baggier on my babies. And this is definitely definitely snug but look at how cute so I'm gonna leave it on to take a few pictures I probably won't leave it on her long to snuggle her in it because I do like I said I do like things a little bit more baggy on my babies and even zipping it all the way up like it looks like it's choking her but um anyways let's see if these uh these little knit booties fit I just want to know if they fit um Oh, they button. What was I saying? So, oh, I saw the orthopedic surgeon today that ordered the MRI for me. Um, so, you know, I went back to him so I could get the results read. And, um, you know, he, he just confirmed what I knew that, you know, there's, um, there's two discs that are really bad in my lower back. And I forget what the you know, the letter and the number are, um, I can look that up. I have my report. He looked at the MRI from 2011, 2014, and now this one. And of course they can see everything progressively getting worse. And they see the change between 2014 and now is that they, the disc is pushing on the, on the sciatic nerve. Like they can see it clearly in the MRI, um, which I obviously can tell that, <laughs> by the pain that I'm in. Um, that's not going to get any better. <laughs> and um, what he did say is he is not familiar with the Coflex implants. Um, you know, he would go for like, you know, a spinal uh, fusion, I, I guess in two section, you know, fusion and laminectomy. Um so, but he said, you know, the neurosurgeon, um, he highly recommends him. He said, you are definitely in, in great hands, um, for sure. And he said, he will do the least invasive and the best thing for you. And he said, given, given what I'm looking at on the MRI and the pain that you're experiencing, he said, he said, I would expect to be, um, in and out of surgery, um, before the new year. You know, he said, I, I know it stinks having to go in for surgery um, right on top of Christmas, but obviously you can't, I can't function in, in the condition that I'm in and the pain that I'm in. So, uh, you know, he said, you know, you're, you're going to be in quick. So I am preparing for that for sure. And, um, but I'm grateful. I'm grateful that, you know, um, I'm grateful that I believe that I'm in the best possible hands with this surgeon. Um, obviously I will meet him on the 29th and, and, you know, see for myself and make sure and all that. But, you know, it's, it's comforting to hear that. That's for sure. And, um, you know, of course, it's scary because it's feeling real. So in the meantime, I, I of course, you know, said, you know, the, um, the round of, of, uh, of uh, what you call it, uh, prednisone that he tried to reduce the swelling, it really didn't do much. Um, I, the last day that I was on it, the fifth day, I noticed a slight difference and for like two days afterwards after I stopped taking it and that was it so I got like three days where I could say maybe it took the edge off I maybe 30 percent so that's it you know so I cannot take painkillers he he actually went as far as to say 
that if I was a normal person that could take painkillers, that's exactly how he would treat me at this point till the 29th. <laughs> um, and I can't do that. So he's now trying a, um, a, a nerve medication. It's actually a uh, anti-seizure medication, but it's often used for nerve pain, hoping that that might take the edge off of you know, the, the sciatic nerve. Um, and he said, you know, it, you know, he wants to try that. And if that doesn't work, then, then, then maybe we'll try another round of the prednisone. But, um, the further away from the last time that I took the prednisone, the better for my body and all that. It's not something, you know, I want to take continually and it can start to mess with your stomach and stuff as well and so yeah so um I will be starting that tonight I don't know if it's gonna how it's gonna affect me if it's gonna make me sleepy or whatever so I am just gonna wait until you know later tonight um you know after Gabe's in bed and so I, I don't want to take a new medication like that not really knowing how it's gonna affect my body when my son is still awake so so, um, let's pray ladies that that, um, does something for the nerves there just to basically, I am just trying to ride through, um, till I see the surgeon. And of course, then I will have to wait for surgery, but maybe the neurosurgeon will have another solution or maybe it'll, he'll have me in the next week for surgery. I really can't answer that. Um, I, I would like to think and hope that most people don't electively schedule surgery in in December, you know, due to the holidays. Um, so I probably have a better chance than at any other time of the year of getting in faster, if that makes sense. Um, so... I know a lot of you ladies out there have back problems and back severe things and have had surgeries and things and you all have been commenting and stuff. I would love to hear from everyone. I would love to pick everyone's brains on, you know, what kind of surgery have you had done? Was it successful? You know, yada, 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 all that stuff. Um, I would so much appreciate, ladies, um, any anybody sharing their back stories with me at this point because this is a major thing. Um, in the meantime, um, I have there's lots of things to prepare for, including I'm gonna need some help in here, um, you know, just for some some house cleaning and. Um, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be done and um, we were not prepared for and I should have, you know, prepared better for things come up, but that's one of my downfalls. It really is. And um, anyway, so I am going to um, probably tomorrow make another video with Owen. Um, there is a already a for sale video up, but it was like I don't know, a month and a half, two months ago now. Um, but it's back there if anyone's interested in the Owen sculpt by Laura Tuzio Ross, painted by Jacqueline Cassidy. Um, he has amazing, amazing painted hair. And if you just go back through my videos, you'll find the for sale video and how to contact me. My my emails in the description of that video. Um, and then there's links to details, uh, videos of him. And, um, like I said, I will be coming back on to list him again formally, um, to try and get him off to a new mommy. It would be, I, it will be great to get that done and someone can be enjoying him and it would definitely be helpful to me at this time. And I believe that I am also going to put up my little girl A.A. Tink Pipier. Um, and I know um, a lot of you, you know, I wind up just from me saying this is the baby that I'm letting go next. The baby winds up going before I even <laughs> post, this, post a for sale video. I will put um, my email in the 
description below if um, any of you all um, know that baby and have a burning desire for her. Um, to all of you that don't know that baby or don't know me, I can tell you that she is not um, in, uh, in an expensive baby. She's not a budget baby by any means. Um, so you know, please keep that in mind and what I'm going through here as far as my time and all that. Um, and your time as well. Um, and Owen, um, to all of you that possibly have inquired, because I did get inquiries coming in about him, I am going to, um, lower his price just a bit. Um, just to kind of get him sold and off. So if you have previously, re uh, um, inquired on the Owen and he was maybe just a little bit out of your reach. Um, I am lowering his price by $150. I can tell you that. So if you inquired and you got the price, now you know the new price. <laughs> to all other inquiries, you'll have to email me because I will not conduct business in the comments and, um, you know, I don't talk prices and stuff here. Aside from the fact that I can tell you that Owen was, a, um, originally and listed on uh, eBay by his artist for $12.99. That was his original price. I did purchase him outside of eBay, um, but just to give you an idea of, you know, where in the, you know, what type of baby, uh, you know, he is and how the artist, you know, had him priced. So, um, you know, I got a, a decent deal on him and you all will get an even more better, you know, deal on him. And he is brand new and he is together with all of his brand new stuff. And I really should have him sitting here in front talking about all this, but yeah, you know, when you got so much going on and you're in so much pain, like I'm not, I can't even like think straight at this point. <laughs> really can't. But I have a lot to be thankful and grateful for. And um, including actually getting a few minutes to, uh, you know, I guess Gabriel found what he was looking for. And well, I heard, I know my husband came in. Um, so anyways, I, I'm really glad that I got to share Frankie with you all. I really did, um, miss her kind of when I put all the babies away with everything going on. I hadn't had her back out yet and I really missed Frankie. Um, I, I really did. Uh, so I'm really happy to have her, you know, out and dressed now. These shoes really don't match. The socks look a lot cuter. So, um, I am probably going to, she'll be the baby that I kind of hold tonight while I'm watching TV. I'll probably take a few minutes to snap some pictures and then I'm going to take her out of this and put her in a, something a little more baggy. And I'm just rambling at this point. So thank you all. Let me hold Frankie up and she's, oh, she is just weighted so beautifully and feels so real oh there she is look at that face I mean look at this hair I'm just look at her I, I am really she's amazing she is just absolutely just look at this hair my goodness she is so stunning oh my sweetie Hey, sweetie. Yeah, I can't wait to snuggle her. All right, so I'm going to go. I'm going to grab some pictures of her quick so I can post on Instagram and share with you all on Instagram. And um, at the end of the month, or I should say at the beginning of September, my little Russian tink boy, well, he's not mine anymore, but he will be going home um, to his new mommy. Um, uh, there will be a farewell video that'll be, uh, like I said, the beginning of December. Um, his mommy is very, very excited and, uh, she, you know, very patiently did a layaway. It worked out, um, really well. And, uh, when I do his farewell video, I will be announcing who his mommy is and where he's going. And his mommy has given me permission to share, her, um, she is, does not have a YouTube channel, but she does have an Instagram account. So you all will be able to follow him. That will be fun. Um, so we have that coming up and whatever else I'll be squeezing in, uh, this month. Um, next video, I'll tell you a little bit about how I plan 
to ride through the holidays, um, you know, not only with here and the videos and everything, but just in life in general, obviously, with what I have go going on, I, I do have some uh, plans uh, laid out and, uh, you know, just kind of how I plan to get through um, because it's, you know, it, it's it's not been easy, so... All right, ladies, thank you for sticking sticking with me. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out. And until next time, God bless.